I'm back and this is video 71 and right now I'm waiting for my Nimbus disciple to get the demigod so that I can get a maximum bonus and I'm also waiting for these guys to have a higher compatibility with all of the items that they are equipping so that they can make some pretty good sub spirit gear out of it so in the meantime I don't have much to do so I'll actually go to my body cultivator and set them up so that they're breathing 24 7 because that's something that I should have done earlier since they actually finished remoting and they got their head muscle to level 50 I believe that if you make a body cultivator remote then they'll just do 50 levels at a time so I should have been did this but I mean they still already have a lot of essences right here even with them only breathing like three times a day and then as you can see their liberate their liberated bonus should be maximum okay it's not maximum which is kind of weird because this bonus gets increased for the longer that they breathe in one spot so I don't imagine that my body cultivator would have missed breathing in this one location so I don't understand that but it's whatever probably something got messed up somewhere and then as far as the liberated bonus goes I think that they need to not be breathing for one um, set of time so I don't know I was gonna turn like just one breathing thing off and then besides that I also in my last video I need a ton of spirit with off cut so I guess I'll just try to make my sec look somewhat presentable <laughs> uh, spirit stone off cut so let's just work on that yeah I have 6900 and 96 spirit stone off cut so let's see what I can do with that so let's do something that I should have done many moons ago which is add flooring to my sect um I think I like this flooring too I don't know I like a lot of the flooring I like the flower one the most but I don't want it to be too boring and then I guess like all the way over here would be nice to have his flooring oops all of the spirits don't have cut is like ah oh, that lagged me so badly I should have acquired the spirits don't have cut at first so let me actually cancel that yeah so none of it got placed by the mini universe so I'm probably gonna lag even worse so let's do an acquisition first to bring in the spirits don't have cut and then redo that So pretty much all of my areas where I have things, I would try to put the spirits don't off cut to make my sec to look way better. But I don't want to ruin too much of my farmland. But I mean, yeah, I have like an abundance of everything. Okay, I think I'll just let this one go and then see what gets created. So I do have some builders. Whoa. Where's Outer One? Did he die from a shape shift tribulation? Ooh, that hurts. What? Heaven to Outer One. Why are there two disciples now named Outer Two? I am like speechless right now.
Okay, I'm gonna go back to another save just so I can see like what the shape shift tribulation date on outer one was, just so I can make sure that I didn't get this guy killed like just randomly. There's always something going on, but I mean I'm 300 days in and I did have that disciple for a really long time. So this is the save file that I actually just brought in. And I'm pretty sure Outer One was alive at this time. Yep, here he is. And they pretty much had no reason to die. Yeah, they had 15 days. So they died on day 380. And uh, let's see what day I'm on right now. I'm on day 379. So they died like a day ago. That's unacceptable, honestly. No, let's see if I can if I can salvage this. Because I'm actually more interested in saving this guy. So day 379 is when I was waiting for the Nemesis to become a demigod. So let's go back and just recreate this save file and hope that the time is just not up. Because I do have a way that I could possibly save this disciple. Just let me see. Okay, 379. Otter 1 is still alive right here. They have 82 seconds. Ah, oh, that's depressing. So, I mean, I have this guy right here. So, man, toxic my asthma. Okay, so I have one hope. My only hope is that. I can take a disciple, possess outer one, and then do a rebirth. So I only have 80 seconds, so I would first need to find a disciple that has the ability to possess other disciples and can possibly learn that quickly. But I mean, 82 seconds is a really, really short time. So I think I'm willing to trade this disciple, right? They're a golden core disciple, nothing too crazy. Or maybe I would prefer a primordial spirit disciple. It has like more bonuses to their stats. So like this guy right here. I wish that they already had a possession. Let's try a greeter. Uh, they can't even learn it. They're short. So I would have to go with my Earth Plus Farmer, which is a disciple that I am pretty sure that I raised myself. But it's whatever. I would rather keep my outer disciple than my Earth Plus Farmer because I don't even use this one anymore to farm Earth Plus, honestly. Uh, please go to the manual pavilion. And then let's see where's the outer one at 70 seconds come on 59 seconds this is like the race for life okay 47 seconds we have greater possession so basically when you possess um a mortal disciple then you take over their body and your cultivation of speed your cultivation level and all of your manuals and everything translates over but you lose your golden core score but it doesn't matter i don't need a golden core score i just need to possess them so that they can the body can be strong enough to survive the shapeshift tribulation so i'm going to possess the outer one and hopefully the shapeshift tribulation resets because when you do possess a yagwai the shapeshift tribulation gets changed and a little bit so let's see what that looks like so they're being possessed so now outer one is a primordial spirit disciple right and uh, 
I mean, they don't have too much, but I mean, 28,000 should be enough. So if I give them a spirit crystal and then I have them equip. So, okay, so if I save some of this back, then I will actually have them equip the talismans that I wanted them to use. But I don't know if I have enough time to consume the spirit crystal and equip all of the talismans that I would need. But as you can see, now we're in Outer One's body and we're, we have attainment and they're a primordial spirit disciple now. But they're just lacking the talismans that they would need. So let's turn off this spiritual traveling one and then give them the tier 12 dark armor talisman. And then obviously I would want them to also have the secret code of Taiyi. So who has the secret code of Taiyi? It's this guy right here. So if they can equip these two items really quick, that would be crazy. That would be like a legendary um, shapeshift tribulation. So let's just remove this acupuncture needle for now. And then I would just hope that when I rebirth them that their stats stay. Why are you eating? No, don't do that. <laughs> you have way more important things to do. You have five seconds to get to a dark armor talisman. Yeah, you're not making it. <laughs> you are not making it. Uh. <laughs> okay. I, I I know what I need to attempt to do though. Let's see, where are they doing? Huh. Oh, did they get to the dark armor talisman actually? Let's see. Oh they did. Ah, they're regenerating. Ooh, they're getting through their shapeshift tribulation. That is so lucky. And luckily I did it in an area where like there's no items. So yeah, this guy will definitely be able to survive their shapeshift tribulation at the very least. Because they have 2.1 barrier and then they're obviously out healing the tribulation as it does damage, right? So then, then the next step would be for me to rebirth this disciple and then hope that they still have their building speed because that's pretty much what I wanted. And then my Earth Plus Farmer ended up dying sadly because the Earth Plus Farmer is now the <laughs> bull. <laughs> so they're getting repurposed, I guess. Like, I wish I could use someone else for that, but honestly, I didn't really see anyone else that could have been a good option, but it's okay. Yeah, this guy was GC1. I just traded a GC1 cultivator for a uh, outer disciple. That's pretty funny. We'll miss you, Earth Plus Former. You did a really great job. So the other layer to this is that when you rebirth the Yao guys, their stats get rerolled and like some weird things happen in terms of their skill level. I think there's a mod that can fix it. So let me go into Discord and see if there there's a way that I can fix that. How the heck does Sorcerer Tiger die? What what happened to you? Oh, lifespan. Ah, <sighs> back to the drawing board. Same plan this time. Let's make sure this guy doesn't die either. That's ridiculous. So we're going back to day 379. I'm so lucky that I, I had 82 seconds to get that done. And I, I mean, I pretty much got it done. But I'm going to make it better by actually giving Outer One a better chance. So Outer One, let's unequip this right here and then unequip this and then have you equip the Dark Armor Talisman. And then I also want them to equip a Heaven Armor Talisman, because why not? 
and then I also want them to equip a soul I mean a spirit crystal and the secret code is a tie so I mean an a uh, pickaxe that's fine so then spirit crystal because all these items will return on their equipment once they um, are possessed so they can't equip the spirit crystal right now because I already had given them commands so let's have this guy right here unequip the code as a tie -yi. and have outer one also equip that and then besides that this guy also needs to increase their lifespan the origins for is really eight um, at their lifespan so let's turn their origin force off actually and go into human form they don't need to be in beast form that's just for like maximum power and then I'll just pop one of these pills that increase lifespan then okay outer one is awake so in the meantime my earth plus farmer needs to be learning greater possession so that they can possess outer one and give them all of their power and this is pretty much how you would save a mortal with minimum preparation so now what's the outer one doing so they have 43 seconds so now if I could I would love to equip the spirit crystal but I mean there's really no reason for me to do so so they do already have the heaven armor dark armor talisman and everything else so I'll just have earth plus farmer do the possession on outer one at this point yes um, what are you eating please don't do that so now the earth plus farmer is outer one again do I have time to eat a spirit crystal I don't think so um, yeah I mean I guess it's just time to do the shapeshift tribulation with their 3.73 barrier power no more unexpected deaths I hope yeah it looks like we're good and this guy slowly regenerating chi during the shape of tribulation even without the spirit crystal which is perfect so let's just remove these items and then go through the shapes of tribulation again That was pretty funny though. I'm like, what is happening? And then Lady Cloud is continuously meditating to become a demigod. Ah, let's bury Earth Plus Farmer. You did a really good job to the sec, but we have to keep that. We have to keep Outer One alive. I'm sorry. Let's build this grave right here. Put the Earth Plus Farmer over here. Technically, you're not dead, though. You're just reincarnated and repurposed. Go, Outer One. Go. They quickly went to a from a mortal with no hope to a uh, primordial spirit that's just crushing it. <laughs> ah, that's beautiful. Ah, I love this game. Say if you have some fodder primordial spirits around, you can move some things around to make things happen. So then once this guy rebirths, he will never have to worry about a shapeshift tribulation ever again. But again, I need to double check on what the mod is that I can use to make it so that their stats don't get like re-rolled into pretty much like really bad stats after you rebirth the Yao. The 
That's pretty much how you survive a Siege of Tribulation on Immortal. An aggressive beer, like a singular beer. <sighs> Come on, you weekendling. Let me just end your misery. Thank you for the Sphernee so Gem. I really needed that. Oh, why are you hurt? Oh, they have a toothache. Oh, you're in a bad mood. Sleeping in the wilderness, interrupted sleep. Okay, whatever. Charity. Someone died again? It was... Uh, let's see. I don't care about this one. No, I don't know. Illuminated vase. I'll gladly take that free Primordial Spirit Gem. Primordial Soul Gem. I have so many Illuminated items. So all of these items I can actually Soul Chant and get 2,500 autos. So this is what? 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 Spirit Song. And now that 20 days have gone by, I've reached the auction. So I'm going to send my Disciple out to actually do the auction to show you guys what that looks like finally even though I am extremely late on that one why is everyone in a bad mood? ah I remember that someone told me that if I can get a tier 9 spiritual cleansing talismans then my disciples don't need to sleep anymore let's see how many mortals do I have? I have seven mortals, so, and I'm pretty sure I have definitely have more than seven disciples that can soul chant. I mean, expect to refine. So let's let's get this going, because I'm really tired of these disciples complaining. I was making them tear sits because I'm rich. I think. Let's see how many anguish soul gems. Okay, I'm not rich. <laughs> let's see how many tribulation ash. Okay, yeah, I'm rich in tribulation ash. But well, that's kind of different. Because I need to make sure that everyone has tower refinement then. But I could easily get angry soul gems with this. I've just been slacking in some areas. So let's do some more tower refinements. Do you have tower refinement? No, you don't even have enough chi. I guess you can do spectre refinement. Uh, refinement. I know you have tall refinement. And then I'm surprised that you don't have it. I know Generation 2 Turtle has it. Kind of want to turn Universal Foresight on, but the pop-ups were also annoying me a little bit. Okay, so I already have all seven of these selected to be refined. So I should be good. Okay, so I'm going to take part in the auction. And as you can see, the auction has all of these items that are going to be sold for overpriced price and is the same as like the typical auction so you just have certain rounds and you just have to wait your turn to basically bid on these items so there's the eternity pill they're trying to sell it for 1100 I'm rich so I'll just bet 1600 but 1600 is already like more than what a eternity pill is pretty much worth and I'm pretty much winning the bid so yeah I was able to buy the eternity pill and then it would take that from my inventory once all of the auctions lock in but if you get a really nice one then you can actually find some really good items I think the one that you want to get like treasure or like something that's really like rare I don't really care about Bane Pill so I'm going to keep giving up these rounds Blade Pill don't really care about that either and then this also gives like information on how it was 
All the auction want. So this guy won the blade pill. Sadly, I can't see how much they did it for cure powder. This item is pretty useless, but yeah, they're basically just trying to sell you like overpriced items. So you would only do the auction if there was an item that you couldn't obtain otherwise. So like if I had that fortune do, then I would probably do it for all of my money, honestly. Then I'll give up all, and then I also forgot that, yeah, this <laughs> bid price lower than the market price. Okay. Oh, I got it for lower than market price. Nice. So I didn't get all the way scammed. Also need to remember to put this guy back on. And I was also working on this guy, but I just kind of stopped. But it's okay. We're focused on this guy now. Outer one, outer one. How does it feel to be in primordial spirit instantly? And the good thing about possession is you can even use it while you're a corpse. So if you have a disciple, like a sunflower disciple with like 300,000 flat mass chain, then you can always just keep hopping bodies as you die. It's pretty funny. Falling treasure. I was like, I cannot lose my best builder. I absolutely can't. So yeah, now Otter One is has survived. You know, and they're in extreme pain. I don't know why. Let's see. Okay, they have a toothache. Can I paint a sea of that? And they have 47 movement speed, which is amazing. So they did that, so now they can go to the beast farm, they become a cute little bull disciple, or go back to human. What is this? Uh, merchant? Outer misc items. And you want to buy a fortune do? So do I. I really would like to buy a fortune do too. We we're pretty much in this looking for the same thing. Then I have these poems of sadness that I could trade too. I actually forgot about that. I can straight up rob this guy right now with the poem of sadness. Let me just map out one of these poems of sadness. Is one of them that's in the trade area though. Let's just refine this 11 times. There's another one right here. <coughs> Poem of Sadness. I think you know I just have an outer one chilling right now. Huh? Is that another merchant? Okay, let me refine yet another poem. Of I never got two merchants in the same time frame. That's interesting. This is what happens when you record yourself play. Like you just get some crazy RNG. Like the streamer RNG is real. That's insane. I never got two merchants at once. Hmm. Oh, so yeah, pull my sadness. Thank you. I'll take this and then I'll take this. I don't really care about any of those items. You need 500 more. Let me just give you something cheap. Like a flood dragon item. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the flood dragon skills sell for a certain amount. Like 500, yeah. Thank you for all your spirit stone. Now this other merchant. Outer misc items. Oh, this is the guy that I just trade. So let's try he won. What? 
Okay, so I clicked he won, and they have the moral pill, and they want the fortune do, and other misc items are worthless. And now if I do gongli and shu, let's see. Okay, my disciple doesn't even want to trade them. Gongli and shu has the same exact settings. Okay, so I mean, now I know what happens when you get two merchants at the same time. They just end up with the same settings. That's super weird. But I mean, it's whatever. I wish I got double the free items. But now that outer one is right here, I want to see do I have a rebirth pill that I can use on them? I mean, it wouldn't even be smart for me to use a rebirth pill. Just because I have um, Reverie Rebirth, which is this menu over here, which I can use to rebirth them. I have a Eureka Pill, yeah. I'll just feed them this Eureka Pill just because I'm kind of in a rush. Because I do want to get back to building out my sect. But I can't do it without my main Outer Disciple. Okay, so they went to Manual Pavilion and they were able to learn Reverie Rebirth. So this just uses a soul pearl and then you can rebirth your cultivator. So let me save and then show you guys what the rebirth looks like when you rebirth the Yao Guai and pretty much how this bug. So let's see. This is day three eighty three. Outer one saved or outer one rebirth. Saved and a rebirth. So I'm going to look around in the mod store really quick just to see if I can get that bug fix. And I know it's related to Yagwai skill level, so I'm just going to search skill in here. So let's see. Doesn't seem like anything is really coming up. Yaogwai Wow, okay, mod store Let's go to non-Chinese Search Yao No, I already have this Yaogwai rebalance, let's go to skill Nope What is this godly cultivator? Oh no. That's too overpowered. Um, let's try rebirth. Try RB. Iguana. Fin and mouse scrolling, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't know if I can. I would have to wait a little bit to find this mod. Let's see, rebirthing gals. Searching it in the Discord for something. I don't see anything so far.
Let's see, let's see. I do have the link to the Iguana overhaul mod, so let's see if I can try to look for that. ACS Iguana overhaul. Functional changes. Interesting. I just want GitHub. Can I find it in time? I'm searching the major could be summer you later iguana or hall this is. Oh I found it. Nice. So this right here has all of the fixes. I just want to read the readme pretty much. Let's see, we have the money render fizz, alter death fizz. Like these are all things that you kind of need for quality of life. Manual fizz, formation coding fizz, Yagwai fragment skill level fizz. Yeah, this right here. So I just want that Yagwai fragment skill level fizz. So let me actually try to go back and search for that as a standalone mod. And if not, then I'll just try to download it and then like just take that one part from the mod. So let's go to mod store and search fragment. Nope. Okay, so let me actually go and download this full thing. Iguana ACS fits. Then scripts, I guess. I'll have to download the full thing. Yeah, so this is like basically it. Mm. Where's the download link? Let's go to file. Let's click this. See, I don't know why I'm struggling to find a download link on GitHub right now. <laughs> uh. My little light function fits, and then ACS fits. So I do want, I guess I want this full thing, right? I had to go to the Discord and be like, where is the download link?
I get. Okay, someone just gave me the download. Let's see. Oh, so there was a download button, but you just had to. Let's see. Oh, you need to go to releases and then download it. Let's go back. Ah, so you had to click this button right here and then download it like this. Okay, there we go. So I'm downloading this and I'm putting it. And my ACS folder. Uh, I don't really like having the full thing. All right, I'm probably boring right now, so let's just try to rebirth it and then just hope that the stats don't go horribly bad. <laughs> and then if not, then I'll just try to add the fix fully. So yeah, when you rebirth the all guys, their stats get rerolled like very rarely. So right now this guy has, you know, whatever stats. And you remember when they were outer disciple, they had like really good construction, really good other stats and all that good stuff. So let me just move forward with doing the Reverie Rebirth. Reverie Rebirth. Use the Soul Pearl. And now they have rebirthed. And now they are an outer disciple. Okay. The construction level is 9 out of 20. Crafting is 23 out of 26. So I think this actually just started off from where they were before. But I would say that these stats are still pretty acceptable. See, this is the bug that I'm talking about. So like right here, that artistry is 0 out of 0. So that is a bug. The mining is 0 out of 0 so that's also a bug. So this is something that's like not really favorable. Even though I really only wanted them for their construction and I only wanted them for their building speed which also seems to be tanked. Then you know you can have a Yaogwai Outer Disciple too. So let me just go back and just try to work on adding this full mod. So this is the Iguana ACS fix. This is the README. Just gonna open it with the test file. Fist Rare Bialgui, Fist Artifact Power Bonus for Panda Pets. Potential Value Free Work. This is everything. Okay, so this shows that your chi recovery is done. Jeez, there's so many things. I really just want this one. So if I could just figure out how to add specifically the Yaogwai skill level fragment fits then I'll be good. But yeah, this one this thing is editing so many different things. I wouldn't even know where to start with this, honestly. I really wouldn't even know where to start, so I'm just gonna 
give up and add it to my game. So if I go to mods, let's paste this right here. And then uh, let's see. Um, I believe that was added properly. So now I just have to restart my game basically to see the changes. And then of course I have to bring my save back so that I can try to bring my Yaogwai to you know rebirth properly. And then you know I could probably just disable the mod after that. But I mean I do like the mod but there's just a lot going on. To the point where I don't want to really deal with it. So I do have the overhaul fist now. And then of course you want mod loader light at the top always. So I'm going to activate this mod. And then try to load in my game with it. And I also need to figure out the hotkey that I need to press to bring up the UI for it. There's probably like a million things going on right now because of all of the changes that I just made with that one mod. Let's see. If I go to hotkey. And I'm just hoping that it will be here. Um, it's not here. I'm just being lazy at this point as other people. Okay, so I believe that if I go here, then I go down here then it tells me you can just see what it changes so I just have to go to modeler or light option so I believe that if I just click on this well then I mean I don't have any options Alright, let's save and quit and try to load it up again. Let's try to load this. And then just make sure that the order is right too. Maybe I need to have some other mod above it. Like maybe mod mod or something like that. But let's just try that again. Yeah, so I don't have this. And let's see. Go to settings, hotkey again. Um, let me try to go to the README again and then 
I'll just give up on this. Functions, functions, math stories, mods. So you want modeler, like you want to fix the functions and the features. So many mods. Let's see. Let's try to just search up iguana. Overhaul fixes. And I want the functions and then the features. Then let's go here. Let's turn off this one since I got those from my lower light. And they said that you want to have the fixes first. And then you want to have the functions second and then the features. I don't really want features, but we'll see what happens. If this allows me to rebirth my yaw uh, without ruining their construction, then I guess it's worth it. So let's see. I mean that mod is definitely worth it already if you're a new player especially. But I already have like a lot of mods from that mod so I didn't want to like double up. I don't want to like have double of the mods that I already have but I really just need this yaw guard to be fixed. So let's try to see what this looks like now. Okay, nice. So I actually did that right. And uh, I already have skill level everywhere. I already have sword level manuals by attainment. Don't really need this. Um, I think I have sect rule. I don't really want infinite mouse scroll. Heavenly reforge limit increase. I definitely don't want that. Don't want to raise my agency pop and leash limit. Perfect alignment movelet. I don't know what that means, but I don't want it. This is pretty cool. Definitely don't want to fist this. See, so this is just a lot. Alright, I'm just gonna like not mess with it at this point. And uh, rebirth my Yagwai. And then turn it back off. <laughs> So let's see, where is outer one? Okay, outer one is here. And let's go back and try to rebirth them. Hopefully they don't have any skill levels that are like zero out of zero. And yeah, that's pretty much just the goal. So we're at zero out of 12 mining, two out of 20, zero out of 12 artisanry. So, okay. Yeah, so it looks like that fixed it, which I'm super happy about. And then the construction is 9, which is what it was before, and then the crafting is 12 and all that other good stuff. So now I just have the dilemma of needing to re-equip these items. What is this? Small cheese shield. Spiritual traveling, diligence, everlasting status. And then they had the heaven armor, talisman, face mask. And then they had all these other items that they had equipped. Um, I don't think they had a spirit crystal equipped actually. This guy had the secret codex of Taiyi equipped. So let's see what other one looks like now. Spiritual traveling. Everlasting status, and then they have the dark armor talisman, which they don't need anymore. They don't need this heaven armor talisman, and then they have the diligence talisman. 
and a relation status. Ah, I was able to save my disciple finally, and now I could turn off those mods. So yeah, pretty much like if you need to rebirth it, I don't even think I needed to get those extra mods. I think just the overhaul of this is was what I wanted, and I don't need like the functional features and functional changes. But I don't know. I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time. Which is, you know, just download those three from the mod store and just keep them in that order. And then if I need to rebirth the yeah, I'll just turn them on and then rebirth, basically. Just because I don't feel like figuring out everything that I'm adding with that overpowered mod. But it's all just quality of life, so it won't really ruin anything, but the feature one is kind of different. So now, we did it. <laughs> we turned, we, we saved Outer Disciple 1. And now they're back here. They have 40 moving speed. This is beautiful. And then, you know, please don't be close to dying as well. I just want to check all these other outers just to know if I have to do all of that over again. Lang Fang and Neo Yu Yu. So next time I get some Primordial Spirit Invaders, I'll convert them over to my team and then use those guys to possess these two so that I can make them proper outer disciples that don't have to worry about the shape trip tribulation. So besides that, I do remember that I had those secret talismans that I created. And I created seven of them that were tier seven. So let's have this guy create those spiritual cleansing talismans so that my disciples don't have to sleep anymore. So right here, this improves sleep quality and reduce tendency and fatigue. I have seven outer disciples. And I would just rather have it so that they don't sleep at all than have the additional movement speed that the everlasting status provides. So I'm just gonna have that set up. And again, we're still waiting for Lady Cloud to meditate. And then this one right here just breathing and things like that. And their liberty buff still sucks. So now let's just go through to my outer disciples and change their talisman setup. So this right here gives a harvesting and butchering yield of 96%. However, it's capped to 120%. So this is really only even 20% bonus and then it gives them a 90% movement speed boost which is pretty amazing but they already have 144% and again I'd rather just have them not have to sleep because I think I would get more work out of them if they don't have to sleep so let's remove these everlasting status talismans And then this guy doesn't have anything, so whatever. So yeah, I have seven disciples. Just gonna make sure I have that selected, and then I'll do the spiritual traveling talisman for that new guy that just joined. I'll give him the tier twelve one. Then I'll just put throwing a diligence talisman on. Uh, Actually, I would like Otter 1 to have the tier 12 diligence talisman. We can, he can swap that one out. And then this guy can have the tier 6 one. So let's see. So they have the tier 12 diligence one. And I'm really just focused on their building speed. So we're at 1,800%. I believe it was at like 3,000 if I had to guess. But I mean, that's whatever. So apparently these guys are supposed to never sleep now that they have the spiritual cleansing talisman which reduces the amount of energy that they lose by 100%. So let's see. So they pretty much just get hungry but they won't go to sleep. And luckily I did get some Primordial Spirit Invaders that are pretty fodder. 
Let's see if I can even like not kill them. I'm not I'm not like super focused on getting to be able to possess my elder disciples right now, so I'm just gonna see who survives and uh, none of them survive. That's okay. Alright. <laughs> back to the main thing now that we have outer one back. Ah, oh, my beautiful builder. I believe their building level was um, 22, so maybe I just did all of that for nothing. But it was worth keeping them alive. They have been a very important member of my site. Ah, I think the infinite scrolling thing kicked in because now I'm able to infinitely scroll. Yeah. So I guess I'm just going to have to deal with like many different changes to my game because I had that mod for like two minutes. I'm not complaining though. I do halfway enjoy the infinite scrolling. So let's see, hopefully my site will look better. Ah, uh, is this the case where I, I didn't have the items acquired? I don't know. Let's see how they build these items. Wow. Yeah, this is creating so much lag. All of this in the pursuits of a beautiful sect. Hopefully once it's done it's gonna be like way less laggy. How many spirit stone bows do I have? Okay, we already have five hundred and nine created. Let's see. Okay. All right, the lag is done. I'm actually glad that I didn't have the mini universe do that because I feel like there would be way more pop ups. Infinitely scrolling is so weird right now. Let's try with the mini universe version. Okay, I mean, it's getting useful. Yeah, this is very useful. So let's cancel that. Do some acquisition again. And then make it so that these just get automatically added by the mini universe. Hopefully it's less laggy. And I'm definitely missing spots. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see what it looks like now. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's laggy. Like, nah, this is. Wait, let me see. <laughs> like trying to figure out how laggy your game is is pretty funny. Outer one, what are you doing? Come here, outer one. Good job. Yeah, we didn't bring you back to life for nothing. Let's make you a beast. Go ahead, outer one. 
What's your building speed now? 2,400%. That's what I like to see. Good bull. Yeah, they're working hard. Alright, everything looks good so far. I feel like the infinite scrolling is like changing how... Like, I'm observing my icons or how I want them to be, basically. So it's kind of weird, but... I'll stick with it. Oh, we got smelling sweet, and then that's... I just want to get a bit, a bit anxious with this guy. Let's see, where are we at with Lady Cloud? Oh, they're almost at mass. And this is pretty impressive considering they're at really low mental state. Ooh, this just ends up making my sick look like ugly. Yeah, I think my disciples aren't sleeping. Otter one OP. You see them working? Working very hard over here. Ah, oh, the food is going down crazy. I think I'm at the point where I do want to give my disciples these chi absorption pills to hopefully reduce their needs for food. So let's do that. Thank you, I agree that that is a good deal. Not chi absorption pills, chi fasting pills. I have eight outer disciples now. Interesting. Uh, maybe I was thinking that I had seven when I still had Otter one as a inner disciple. Okay. So now they really just need to drink. Everything is looking good. So Lady Cloud is pretty much ready to become a demigod. I believe, yeah, this is the demigod tribulation, so I'm gonna pretty much end the video here, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, I hope you enjoy watching me try to save my favorite mortal, as you know, but that's you know, been with my sight since the beginning of this game, so you know, I had to go and pull that possession and save them, I hope you enjoy learning that you can actually save mortals by doing that method in which you, you know, possess your mortal and then have them basically become a primordial spirit instantly and then you know I had to demo that mod to fix the skill level problem with my Yao Guai and things like that but yeah I don't want this video to be too long Lady Cloud is actually ready to become a demigod so in the next video I'm gonna bring them to a demigod state and then give them some sun pills as well so that you guys can pretty much just see like how strong this disciple will pretty much just end up so let me just actually do some refinements just so that I have a save file in which I'm pretty much I pretty much have these sun pills already refined just because I don't want to have to you know refine these sun pills again if I need to do that so I'm just gonna start off by having all of my disciples do these refinements on these sun pills he set up a tier 8, so I just need to do 4. And it looks like I'm pretty much out of anguish soul gem, so I just have to do these tile refinements. And you know. So I only have 7. I only have 7 anguish soul gems left over. So I'll do these sun pills. Then I know that I'll be like extremely annoyed if I recruit from these agencies too but it may be something that I just need to do anyways then this guy is hurt so I'll probably also fix them up so let's do a little bit more sun pills and then did I have this guy do any refinements nope they don't need have the refinement so my wood farmer number two needs a panacea pill because they hurt and I don't even care why 
and then let me just finish by doing this recruitment at these agencies so spirit hall I'm just going to do recruit maps which will bring them all to my sect I only need 10 people to come since that's the mats that can even come to my sect and there's these little houses right here so seascape recruit mats then where are the other houses so then this will bring in like what 50 mortals to become used as to become anger soul gems 50 or 60 okay we got 14 from there recruit mats oh did I not click that button properly uh, okay whatever I'm rich but yeah <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow